We have Poke Guru here. Ooh, yes. And Adam Odegaard is our uh, our Mater D. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> Listen, this looks amazing. I love Poke because it's so vibrant and bright. What did you bring for us today? Exactly. So I brought a nice collection of different bowls. Um, that include everything from tuna to salmon. We also have a lot of plant-based options. Um, so for those who are plant-based or vegan, we can definitely take care of you. Uh, in addition, something kind of unique here is our tuna masubi. Um, poke is traditionally a Hawaiian dish. So normally what you would find is this one would, be, would include spam. Mm. But it doesn't quite vibe with our healthy, um, oh, our yes, healthy spam. vibe. Mm. So we don't need to throw any yeah. more melon into this <laughs> yeah. mix. <too. laughs> so what we've done is we've mixed um, some fresh tuna with some of our in-house um, uh, uh, chili oil that we make, and okay. then we put a little bit of pickled mustard seeds on there for some sweetness. Ooh. So the way I like to describe that is kind of like a little sushi sandwich. And then uh, for those who don't like raw fish, we also do uh, some Japanese-inspired yakitori skewers Ooh, as well. I might get into this. When we were in the break, you gave a really good description of poke. Yeah. You give that to our audience. Yeah, the way I like to describe it is like deconstructed sushi in a bowl. Nice. So if you like sushi, this is definitely your vibe. Um, yeah, it's a lot of great stuff. I love sushi. This is phenomenal. What is this? Thank you. It's... Um, inspired by a Japanese street food. So it's, um, it's chicken uh, on a skewer. Let me tell you that something. That we season with some, this some great is good. stuff. <laughs> I'm excited to get into poke as well. Okay, so for anybody who might be um, a little scared to try poke. Yeah, of course. How do you ease people into it, especially with the, all the cool sauces? Yeah, and that's one of our biggest selling points, honestly, that I feel like the sauce really makes it, um, especially on our original bowl. It's a really great combination of a little bit of spicy with a little bit of sweet. Um, which typically, you know, um, helps out with those who may be apprehensive to try raw fish. This Listen, salmon is very good. Is it really great? Oh. I, I was eyeing that, but you know, he told me that I would love this one, so I'm going to try this one. I can't lie, the first time I tried poke, I was like, why do I like this so Yeah, much? yeah. This is so good. Which sauce would you think would be good for this original bowl? The original does come with our spicy mayo and unagi sauce, so it's a really nice balance of just a little bit of spicy with a nice bit of sweet. What I love about bouquet is, is it's so fresh. Like of you can feel the freshness. Is that what you all always strive to allow people to experience? Yeah, yeah, of course. We, everyone in our staff works really hard to make sure that we're serving up, because it is raw fish, uh, we want to make sure that we're serving the best that we possibly can. So um, yeah, we work really hard to make sure we're serving fresh and, and nutritious bowls. Well, I am a fan, my friend. You will Thank see you. me here. And where are you guys located? <laughs> we are. We've got two locations downtown, one of which is in the AMP Food Hall um, at the 16 Tech District. The other one is in uh, Bottle Works uh, right off of Mass Ave. Ooh. Yeah. Well, if you see me walking down the street <laughs> with this right here, George, don't be surprised. Right. You know it's your fault. It's Adam Odegaard, he's my man now. <laughs> yes, Adam, our man. Come Thank on.